Okay, so I thought I'd make a quick video on uh, the websites that I use to predict cloud cover. So the first one I'm going to look at is what is called uh, Brisbane uh, Storm Chasers. Now this one has got uh, a whole pile of stuff on it, you know, all the instability charts, shear charts, probability charts, and all the rest of it. I don't really worry about most of those. Uh, what I usually look at is over the right here for the cloud cover. Now you can see here you can select total cloud cover, high, middle or low uh, for a particular area. So what I usually do is I'll go across to Melbourne, across here, so it zooms in on Victoria, as you can see there. And then from there I'll go across and I'll have a look at total, cl uh, total cloud cover to start with. Now you see that it usually comes up for the first one, entire grid undefined, because it was from 4am this morning, which is about 12 hours ago. So, for example, I want to look at what's going to happen uh, Saturday afternoon through to Sunday morning. Now once I click on 4pm uh, Saturday afternoon, you can see we've got it broken down into three hourly group uh, lots. You can see there's a significant amount of cloud over Victoria. And then as we scan through overnight, excuse my poor internet connection, uh, we can see that uh, you know there's still a fair bit of cloud. A little bit more, starting to ease off over on the western side. Then by 1am, you can see the western side of the state is cleared up, and along the coast. Uh, you know, down the bottom of uh, Cape Hot Way through to um, uh, Lawn sort of area through there. It's a fairly clear sky. 4 a.m. We've got a bit of cloud moving in over the coast there. And then uh, sunrise is just uh, about quarter past seven off the top of my head. You see that... Uh, Mornington Peninsula is going to have clear skies uh, around uh, Kangaroo Island. It's going to be a light bit of cloud, so you might have some good colour out that way. Uh, through the Otways, a little bit of colour. Uh, well, sorry, I'll start again. There's a uh, a small percentage of cloud, so you're looking at uh, five percent through to what about thirty percent through this area here. And that's where I'm planning on being on Sunday morning. So given the sun is going to be rising uh, just north of east at this time of uh, year, an angle across here, uh, you should, and you've got that gap on the horizon for the light to come through, all that cloud there should light up and you should get some really good colour, hopefully. And then same, same over here around Kangaroo Island, uh, Cape Shank, all that sort of area. Righto. Uh, the other site that I use is called Skippy Sky. I just realised I called Phillip Island Kangaroo Island. Uh, that's what happens when I move around from state to state all the time. Okay, so the other one is Skippy Sky. Now with Skippy Sky, it's the same sort of setup. Uh, I'll show you the... Oops, went a bit too far back there. Let's try again. So you can see we start off on the home page of the entirety of Australia. We can break it down once again. Uh, click on Melbourne. It's a bit more zoomed in than the uh, the other site. And now on this one you can see we've got broken down into the three hourly gaps out to 48 hours. And then six hourly out to 72 hours then from there you got 12 hour blocks so this one you can't predict or forecast uh, accurately anywhere really past 48 hours on this one righto so on this one you've also got the option to look at total cloud low middle or high cloud so let's look at uh, so current so the plus six hour is 10 o'clock so let's have a look at Sunday afternoon, so what's that, 39, 36, so once again you can see there's quite a bit of cloud 
over Victoria at uh, Saturday afternoon to 7 o'clock 10 o'clock and then starting to clear up around 1 o'clock Sunday morning over on the western side same same through to 4 o'clock in the morning And then the next one we got is 10 o'clock, so we can't see the 7 o'clock uh, like we would on the other one. I know, and then once again, you can choose which layer of cloud you want to look at. As I was saying before, uh, the high clouds, if you get a nice bank of high cloud, uh, nothing else really going on below it, you generally get some pretty good colour uh, around sunrise and sunset. Um, about the only other website that I, I use is called the Photographer's Ephemeris. I think I pronounced that right. And this one uh, allows you to determine the angle of the sun rising and sun setting. So on Sunday, the moon rise and the sun rise are pretty much exactly the same angle. Sad day, you can see there's a bit more of an angle there. And uh, you can use that uh, to apply it onto an area you're thinking about shooting. And say I wanted to do a, oh yeah, that's why I put it there, uh, a sunset shoot from here. You can see there's a little gap here between the island and the headland. So I can move that pin around and go oh yeah if I set up about there I might have the sun on the horizon through that little gap in between the island and there and you know set up uh, your composition which has that sun sitting right in the middle there and you know make some sort of amazing shot out of it if I'm good enough which probably not anyway so uh, those are the three websites that I usually use when planning uh, shots on the weekend. Cheers.